Good morning. Today we're here at Kroger Marketplace. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Kroger, one deal we did miss on Wednesday was the Matchlight version of the Kingsford here. Digital coupon this week, $7.97 for a 12 to 16 pound. It's a pretty good deal. Memorial Day weekend sale. Uh, if you happen to miss the sales that we went over on Wednesday, I will leave that video in the video description box of this video below. So check that out. Uh, today is May 27th, 2022. So you will have until May 31st, Tuesday night to get these deals. Right up front and center here, they do have their baby formula aisle. Uh, it does look pretty low, but they do have some. And we saw this was completely wiped out last week. I wanted to point this out first thing because a lot of people have been asking questions about it in the comments. Uh, they do have a little bit. Not as much as the other Kroger we visited on Wednesday, but they do have some. This is a much bigger Kroger. Uh, a lot more people come to this Kroger, so I'm not surprised to see it this low. But apparently they've been bringing shipments of it all over the country, so hopefully it gets filled up here soon. One of the things that we like to check when we come to the Kroger Marketplace are the freezer aisles. Usually when I go to the other Kroger we normally go to, uh, their freezer aisles have been very low, uh, pretty much wiped out. So Kroger Marketplace always has a little bit more. Some of you were asking about the fruits. One of you asked about the Dole Keto Berry Blend. They do have it here at this Kroger, $3.99. And actually they've got a lot of frozen fruit compared to uh, the other Kroger that we visit. And they've got a lot of the uh, orange juice here that some people have asked about the frozen they do have quite a variety we saw a little over a month ago these were wiped out one thing we've been noticing at a lot of stores lately is they've completely tore stickers down as you can see here like their kroger brand um biscuits sausage biscuits sandwiches croissants like they have some prices up on here but this might not be the right price so if you find something that looks in question what i usually do is i take a picture of it so that if there is a question when i go up to the register i can show them well that's what the price was but you do have to look to make sure you're getting the right thing so uh but yeah we've got a lot of good comments um on the kroger breakfast sandwiches a lot of people have been buying these instead of the jimmy dean because they're a little cheaper and they are actually pushing some of the jimmy dean to the side here where it usually is as we can see here, some of the prices have gone up, like the Delights. These were $6.99, now up to $7.99. The plant-based patties were $7.99 the last time we checked. Somebody was asking about these, didn't have them the last time. Looks like they got them back in. And here we have more Jimmy Dean. We saw that this was a major issue. We've been getting more and more comments on these lately. Looks like these bowls have gone from $2.79 to $3.19. That's pretty expensive. We saw, I believe they're $2.69 still at Walmart. Another major price increase here is these biscuits. This 20 count biscuits was $14.99, now it's $16.99. It did go, I believe it went up to $15.99, but they were out of them. Um, and of course, when they come back in, they go up at a higher price. So, I don't know, $17 for 20 just small sausage biscuits, that's not really that great of a deal. So we have had an issue with the Ego waffles. We getting a lot of comments on these. We did months ago when they were completely wiped out. We saw they came back at a higher price. We saw that they were a lot lower. They've gone from $259 to $269 last week. $289 now. $289. Sheesh. So some people were asking about bird's eye vegetables. They do have them, but I gotta say, they do keep going up. We saw the broccoli florets. Um I don't know. They they tore the price tag down. These were two nineteen. I'm assuming they might go to two twenty nine. Oh, that ain't good to see. They got the yeah okay. They got the broccoli and the cali cauliflower mix for two twenty nine. The broccoli cuts a lot of like their corn and stuff like that. Yeah, because that ain't two twenty nine right there. I don't think it is. Boy, prices just keep going up. Well, I don't know. They got the baby sweet peas, which are always a little more two twenty nine. A lot of these were $1.49 last week. I don't know what's going on here. This is crazy. Uh, okay, so yeah, the regular corn is still $1.49 on sale, but look at that regular price. 
when that sale's over, $1.79 a bag. That's too much. Uh, we're going to check out the Kroger vegetables. Uh, some of them have gone up, but I believe most of them are still a dollar. Yeah, so most of the Kroger vegetables are still 10 for 10. You don't have to buy 10. They are only 12 ounces. A uh, dollar a bag, though, for your corn, green beans. Uh, some of the other ones are going to be a little more, like the French-style green beans are going to be $1.50. Um, but, yeah, for most of them, they're still a dollar, keeping a good price on that. They do have the spinach, which we've gotten some comments on. That is $1.49. They took the price down for the peas and carrots and some of the mixed vegetables here. As you can see, there's no price. And they haven't put it up yet, so I don't know. I've been hearing that these may go up to $1.49 making the great value at Walmart way more worth it because theirs is 84 cents a piece, which is still cheaper than the Kroger price. We like the Kroger vegetables, but for $1.50 a bag, I don't know, that's that's a bit much. Okay, so see some of the like the chopped onions here, $1.50 a bag. The, um, the Cajun style blend, $1.50. And some of these have been $1.50 for a while. But as you can see here, they've also taken the stickers down for the mixed vegetables, uh, the mixed vegetables here, but they are still 10 for 10. So what I would recommend doing, buy them up. You know, they have a bunch here. You know, I always try to leave a couple for somebody. I don't want to take the last couple because somebody else may be looking for it too, but dollar a bag. And I, I have a strong feeling these prices are going to be going up here very shortly. One of our viewers that normally asks about the Lean Cuisine the Lean Cuisine did go up. Some of them are a lot more than others. Uh, these more uh, chicken teriyaki, different Asian styles are $4.49. Uh, your regular smaller portion Lean Cuisines are $3.39 at Kroger, which is about the average of what it is everywhere. But you start adding some of the like the cauliflower crust, the more healthier options, you're definitely going to pay for it. $4.99 a piece. Some of them are $4.79, but... I gotta say, these are pretty pricey. I don't really, we never really cover these because they're very low or a lot of stores don't have them, but I just wanted to point this out because we got some comments on them. One issue that all the stores are having, and as you may have seen last week in our uh, video that we covered last week, the Orida fries were pretty packed. I mean, this was loaded down. Now, it's getting pretty low. We saw where Orida was pretty much out. Uh, a few months ago so I wouldn't be surprised to see that again also we're seeing a lot of inconvenience stickers on the Kroger uh, potato products fries stuff like that so so someone had told me that a lot of these products are going to be going up in price too we see that some of the fries yeah 229 these were $1.79 as well and they have gone up to 229 and they have low price on there every time we see that when that goes away or expires they go up even higher so $2.29 for Kroger fries, I don't know, that's pretty expensive. We always get comments about the Stouffer's family sized meals, particularly the meatloaf and the lasagna. I will say the lasagna is very good, but um, you know, they're still pretty low price too, $8.59, uh, $8.99 for some of them, but we've seen where they've been well over $9 at like Walmart and Meyer. So definitely the cheapest place for these is Kroger. So I am not a fan of the banquet meals, especially since they're not a dollar anymore. I know they haven't been a dollar for a long time. They are still two for three dollars. We got a few comments on these. Um, some people were saying they've been going over two dollars in some of your stores. Um, I, you know, anytime we see something like this where it's highlighted in yellow, it's kind of, I think it works the brain to make you think that it's a sale. When this is over, I bet these are gonna go up to almost near two dollars. Uh, they're going to follow suit with a lot of the other meals. Uh, you can still get these little tiny pot pies where you almost need two or three of them to get full, but they are a dollar a piece. My opinion, I would just go with the Marie Calendar, but look at this. We are starting to see inconvenience stickers again on Marie Calendar. This was a big issue a few months ago, um, and they don't have the variety that they've been getting in. We're seeing a lot of the regular chicken pot pie not coming in as a matter of fact i don't see any here um they have the different varieties but i don't see any of the regular chicken pot pie they're pretty much out of them that being said they do have the four count here of the regular chicken pot pie for 10.99 making that a lot cheaper than buying single ones here 
for $3.29 a piece. So you save, save about a buck and a half, $2. We also see that the Marie Calendar meals have gone up. They were $2.79, $2.79 a piece, now $2.99. Now we've seen at some places, I believe Meyer, they've gone up to $3.29. So a little cheaper here, but these were $2.79 for a long time. When, and uh, I do believe they're $2.69 at Walmart, uh, but those may have gone up too. I know that stickers have kind of had trouble at places like Walmart and Target. Uh, they've been having trouble getting the stickers off, so <laughs> I don't I don't really know. It's another thing. That's why I always say, make sure you take a picture if you have anything in question. That way you can show them that, well, that's the sticker price. No expiration on the sticker, you know, because it, it can't have an expiration on the sticker either. Because if it does, then they can say, well, it's expired. They do have a pretty good deal going on with the Lay's potato chips this week. Buy four or more, get them for $1.88 a piece. Now, you do have to buy the Lay's potato chip products. They do have their buy five, save a dollar each deal. Buy five or more, save a dollar each. That is not included with this, though. That will show up highlighted on the sticker. It's a blue sticker. We went over a lot of those on Wednesday. Um, and I will, again, I will leave that video in the description box below. So if you missed that video of the buy five or more, save a dollar each sales that we went over, you can watch that video and catch up. We do have these 60 count eggs here that somebody was asking about how much they were at Kroger. At least at our Kroger, it is $10.55, about the same price as it was at Walmart. Uh, but we saw that Walmart's was 13, uh, like 30, some weird number, like 13.57 a little over a month ago. And there's actually dropped in price. So uh, yeah, 10.55 for 60 eggs. Really seems like the best deal we're gonna get these days for now. We do know that creamer, coffee creamer, has been a bit of an issue around the country. Not as much around here, but as we can see, there are a lot of inconvenience stickers kind of telling us they don't know when it's coming in. Uh, we saw that Dunkin' was out for the longest time, and now they're starting to get that back in. They have some of the coffee made here. Much bigger aisles of this here at Kroger Marketplace. Um, and people were asking about heavy whipping cream. They do have, they've been getting this in more and more. And some of the other ones here, too, like Land O'Lakes. I'll tell you what, people can say what they want about Kroger, but I will say around here they have kept the prices as low as humanly possible on the milk. Now we are surrounded by a lot of dairy farmers, so there's a lot of competition, which is why we're able to get milk a lot cheaper than other places in the country. We always get comments. I know milk is very expensive. Seems expensive everywhere outside of Cincinnati. $2.29 for a gallon of milk is pretty good. Aldi actually has milk for $1.89 a gallon, but we haven't been there in a little while, so that could have gone up pretty good price now we went over a lot of the milks that they're getting in i would recommend we get comments on the silk almond milk i would recommend that if you drink this i would buy up a couple of them because we are starting to see the inconvenience stickers on them also somebody had mentioned the chobani oat it's the first time we've seen this in a while actually on sale down from $8.99 to $5.99 great deal also wanted to point out on the kroger butter which everybody seems to love uh, they have the salted and the unsalted on sale with the digital coupon for two dollars and forty-seven cents, two dollars and forty-seven cents. That brings it down from three seventy-nine. That's a pretty good deal these days. Thank you to our friend up north. He's been watching our channel for a long time. He pointed out to me the one I missed: the Philadelphia cream cheese. They're loaded down with it here. It's part of the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. Brings it down to a dollar ninety-nine a piece. Dollar ninety-nine a brick. That is definitely the best deal we've seen. Regular price is going to be three twenty-nine. That is up from $2.99, regular price $3.29. So if you use a lot of Philadelphia cream cheese, I would buy up a few $1.99 on the buy five or more deal. That's a great deal. More digital coupons here with the bricked cheese here with the block cheese, $1.47 with the discount. All the cheese, uh, the shredded cheese, yeah, shredded cheese and the blocked cheese with the digital coupons brings it down to $1.47 a brick. Uh, the shredded cheese is normally $2.59, regular price, so that's a pretty good deal. And all these cheeses, $1.47 with the digital coupon. That's, that's as cheap as we're going to find it, guys. So I did show this on Wednesday, but I wanted to point it out again because we have a lot of Sargento fans on the channel, plus we're talking about cheese. So two for five dollars, uh, you don't need to spend, you don't have to buy two, you can just buy one, but I would buy two because they're $3.99 regular price right now. Two for five dollars on all the sliced Sargento cheeses. 
and I didn't see it over there, but apparently for all the 8-ounce Kroger sliced cheeses right now, it's on the digital deal too. Use up to five times, $1.47 with the digital coupon. That's good because regular price is $2.49. Didn't know this was included, but glad it is. So I couldn't remember if I pointed it out Wednesday or not, but we'll go over it again because they have a lot more. Ribeyes are on sale. Actually, I think I did go over it. $8.97 for a single pack per pound, but with the family pack, $7.97, you can really impress people with your Memorial Day cookout with these ribeyes here. These look fantastic. Did I say ribs? I meant ribeyes. I will say that we usually buy our ribeyes from Sam's Club, uh, but these are a lot cheaper this week. So we always get comments about food saver bags. Some of the vacuum sealing bags. Uh, I gotta say, the sale is over. Um, I wish I pointed this out a couple videos ago. Boy, I mean, this was like, this was like fifteen dollars off for this here. All this stuff was on sale. I hate that it's not on sale, but it seems to go on sale every couple few weeks. So we'll we'll keep you uh, notified when we see it here because um, we do have a lot of people on the channel that uh, like buying this stuff up when it's on sale. We did have one viewer that had bought a couple of these, which I was glad. Uh, the food saver machine, sometimes they'll have these on sale too. And uh, we really need to keep an eye out on this stuff. Uh, you know, that way when we find the deals, you know, we can buy them up and then seal them, put them in the freezer, last a long time. And um, more importantly, they have this stuff in. We've seen a lot of places haven't been getting a lot of the uh, vacuum bags. We've been getting comments all over the country. They haven't been able to find them. They've been having to order them online. We do find a lot of this stuff along with the ball mason jars that a lot of people have been looking for for a decent price at Target. So if you have a Target near you, um, believe these are the same price at Target, but I've never seen Target have a sale on them. So we'll keep our eyes out on this one. I did want to point this out here since we came across it. This is probably the last time we're going to see a sale like this for a while. I'm not counting on July 4th sales. Memorial Day sales are usually the best. Four for $12.88. 12 packs, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or 7-Up. Mix and match. Four for $12.88. That is a great deal. We haven't seen this kind of deal since Christmas. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely buy that up if you have a chance. Hey guys, I'm back home. Just wanted to go over a couple things. One... The buy five or more, save a dollar each deal is going on at Kroger. Take advantage of that while you have a chance. I have a feeling a lot of different things are going to be going up in price here after this week. So if you have a chance to get to Kroger, get up some of these Memorial, buy some of these Memorial Day sales uh, before they end. These sales will be lasting until Tuesday, May 31st. So you have until then to get some of the deals we saw today and on Wednesday when we went which I will leave that video in the description box below so you can check that out if you haven't already. We go a little more in depth of some of the sales that they have going on. But guys, have a fun and safe Memorial Day weekend. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.